Good evening. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between sanity and stupidity, between logical and loony, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In this episode, Mark from Brooklyn Audit can't buy a metro card to get on the train and ignorantly harasses the only person that can help him. Excuse me, sir, can you, can you explain why none of them will work? Take cash, credit card, nothing? Not one? Unfortunately, unfortunately, it looks like it has to be serviced. So they, come that around means... periodic, they come around periodically and service it. So how do I get home from here? Are you trying to take the... Train? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Coney Island, but I can't get on because it won't take my cash, it won't take my credit card, it won't do nothing. Unfortunately, you would either, either if you have a card that has a Wi-Fi symbol on it, you can use it on the bus. But I gotta take the train. I gotta go to Coney Island. I gotta go that way, not you the bus. You have to take the train, and I'll give you a courtesy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get on the train. That's why I was trying to pay for my metro card. Unless you could fill it up right here. Okay, but are you recording me? Yeah, of course. Why are you recording? Because uh, I'm working on a story. Why this is not working right now? If his story is about how to act like a Taurus then I can understand. Otherwise, what he did is bit the hand that feeds him. The agent said he would give him a courtesy, meaning he was going to let him go through without paying. But in the frauder's dire need to fraud it like a total fool, he missed that part. I mean, you can call the cops, that's okay. They already know I'm here. Are uh, you gonna call the cops? That's okay, you can call them. I got a body camera too, so don't worry. But. Why is, not, why is this not working, though? Why can't I get on the train? I got to get on the train. I mean, you work for the public. Why are you getting upset? I just want to say that being from Brooklyn myself, I am very familiar with the accent. And I can tell you that the way he pronounces the word public is not any kind of Brooklyn accent that I've ever heard. Public is not a word and not a pronunciation of any word known to man. I just call it the frauditor accent. Wow. You see this? He's getting upset that like, I'm recording him. Why is he getting upset? This won't work right here. You see this? This won't work. Look, this time, credit ATM won't work. Nothing. I'm just asking, like, why can I, why won't it work? Like, he won't even... All right, okay. I'm trying to get on a public train, but this won't work. I can't do cash. Look, start. English. No bills accepted. No coins accepted. Exact change only. What if I didn't have the change? I go to this one, I kept putting my credit card in, it kept telling me, no, fail, 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 so... Maybe it's not the machine, but the card itself, because it has no credit on it. Regardless, it seems the only person that can help him right now is the station agent. But he's burned that bridge because the station agent doesn't want to be filmed. Now the obvious choice to most people would be to just shut off the camera and go back to the agent for assistance. However, frauditors are not normal people. Let's take a look to see what their frauditor does, as if we don't already know. And then he tells me I gotta take a bus. I'm trying to get on the train. The train's gonna end in, look at this. But sir, this is a public transportation. Why are you getting upset? It's a public transportation, though. 
I'm not harassing you. I'm asking you, can you help me get on the train? But it's not working. How is it harassment? I'm trying to get on the train. I can't get on the train. I can't get home. Where does it say no recording? Is there a sign? Is there a sign that says no recording? Here's your sign. Have fun walking to Coney Island or taking the bus, dumbass. I'm trying to get on the train. I can't get on the train. I need help. Like, your, your thing won't work. Your machine... Wait, I can get on the train? Where? He's telling me I can get on the train, but I can't get on the train because his signs won't work. His, his machines won't work. I can't get on the train. It, are you telling me I can get on the train? Oh, I can get on the train. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's what I'm asking you. Where? Where do I get on the train? From right here? Just so we have it on recording. Right here? I don't know where you want me to get on the train from. <laughs> Sir, you're a public servant. You got to understand you work for the public. I don't... Huh? Why are you upset? Why are you getting upset for? Ah, this guy is crazy, bro. Unbelievable. Maybe that poor man was having an asthma attack or some other kind of medical issue. Instead of showing any kind of sympathy or decency, their father is only concerned with himself and that the public servant isn't willing to use his last breath before death to help him catch a train. I have no more words, at least not ones that I can use without getting punished by YouTube. He's telling me I could get on the train, but then he's like running inside, coughing. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, video two coming up. He like totally left, he abandoned his boots. He said I could get on the train. You heard him say it. But, okay, never mind. We'll see. The only good thing about this video is that it's now over. I hope that the Forditer had to take the dreaded bus. Poor bastard. It's now time for the Forditer Fatigue Cooldown segment, and I believe we could all enjoy the following ferrets. Even if you don't like ferrets, they aren't Forditers at least. 